Recently, there's been a lot of talk about older cameras having a filmic look and newer cameras having a sterile look. Today, we're going to compare two cameras. I have a 2008 Canon EOS 5D Mark II. This is a full frame 21 megapixel DSLR from 2008. This is a Sony A7 II. It's 24 megapixel. It's from 2014. This is a mirrorless and a DSLR. If we take a brief history of cameras, film was king in the 1990s. Uh, digital came along with the DSLR, digital SLR. Uh, that came along in the zeros and that took over the market. And then mirrorless came over sometime in the 2015s and up to today. The market is predominantly mirrorless today. DSLRs are no longer the preferred camera to buy if you're buying something new. Okay, so what I did was I went out and took a bunch of photographs and I set the camera to neutral or standard, okay? I set the white balance to auto on both and I set them both to program mode so that let the camera do the thinking, okay? I also shot in RAW in case there's a picture that I don't like. I could adjust in RAW to see if I can get the colors to be similar. I used base ISO. So the base ISO on the Canon is 200. The base ISO on the Sony is 100. The aperture and the shutter speed are going to be a little bit different in each camera. We're looking at colors. So I'm not super concerned with the aperture. Canon camera can be purchased for two to $300 today. eBay or your favorite used camera store. A lot of really good lenses can be purchased for this Canon and they're very reasonably priced today. The Sony, six or $700. Older Canon is a much better choice for budget. The Sony has a better autofocus system. It'll find faces, which the Canon won't do. The battery life on the Canon is a lot better than the Sony. The optical viewfinder on the Canon is a lot brighter than the electronic viewfinder on the Sony. Okay, let's dive in. Let's take a look at the photographs. All right, this picture of my grandson, it looks like the Background greens are pretty similar. The facial skin is pretty similar. It looks like the Canon has a slight edge on contrast with the facial skin. And if you look down at the clasps, right in its chest there, the uh, yellow clasps, Canon definitely is brighter and more saturated than the, uh, the newer Sony. So I think in this particular one, the Canon edges out the Sony is with brightness and color saturation. All right, let's go to the next one. This is very, I think poorly lit image, this heavy backlight. So you could see she's just kind of dark. Looks like the skin on the Sony is kind of more gray. The Canon's skin is a little bit more pleasing to the eye. It looks like the greens, the Canon's brighter and higher saturation. She's in a shadow area. The Canon is a little bit brighter in the shadow area, which I think is definitely flattering in this photograph. I think that the Sony isn't quite as pleasing as the Canon. So in this photo, I would say the Canon is nicer to look at. I didn't like the lighting in this particular photograph. So I brought it into Adobe Camera Raw and tried to match the lighting and the colors. And I think I did a pretty successful job here. I took a little tweaking, but I was able to do it. So if you have two different cameras from two different ages, you can match colors without too much difficulty. That's interesting, that's good to know. Now this picture, here is a picture of a little tractor, little toy, obviously I've got kids, so I've got toys. Now the Canon on the left, definitely that green is more saturated and a little bit brighter. The yellows are real similar, but the Canon has a slight edge on saturation and brightness. The reds, again, are very, very similar in color, but I think, again, the Canon has a slight edge in the brightness. Very, very slight. This is interesting. Canon on the left, the bricks, the brick floor here, has a little bit of a green hue to it. Now, that's probably because this was photographed next to a window and the green from the trees is just shining in on it. But the Sony doesn't have that. I can't explain that. In this photograph, in the grass, similar to the last one, the sun is slightly behind the cloud, which is a little bit more flattering lighting in this particular portrait. So the Canon is a hint warmer than the Sony. You could see her hair is warmer and brighter on the Canon. The hair is definitely darker on the Sony photograph. And the Sony is still a little bit grayer on her skin and a little bit less saturation in the grass. All these photographs were taken with outdoor lighting, okay? The Canon, in my opinion, is a little bit nicer than the Sony. So all that talk of older cameras being slightly better than newer cameras, I would have to agree based on what I'm looking at here, okay? It's good to experiment with these older cameras. Thanks for watching and please click the like and subscribe button to help support this channel. Now grab your camera, your favorite camera, 
any camera and get out there and shoot. Thanks a lot for watching. Okay. <laughs>